So hunter's goulash is what happens when you don't plan your meals ahead of time before going to hunting camp. Instead you rummage through the back of your pantry, pull out all that old food that the family won't touch, and attempt to make a meal out of it when you get to camp. The recipe is different every time. A surprise! Here's how Hunter's goulash turned out the last time I made it. In case you're wondering, I'm using a large cast iron skillet over a wood burning stove. Oh, and that background noise you hear is the propane lanterns. First up is some cooking oil. This was here when I got here, but the expiration date is still good. It does look a little sketchy, but too late now. Next up, gotta have corn. Add some beans to that. We've got some rice. This is partially hydrated rice. Yeah, that rice was 50 months expired and normally that's not a problem for dry rice but this stuff came partially hydrated can't forget the spam right there we go <laughs> We're going to throw in some of Grandpa's cough medicine, too. For extra flavor. Believe it or not, the Spam and the Jack complemented each other really well. Alright guys, take a look at that. That looks perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Set this pan aside to cool and dish it up. Alright guys, moment of truth right here. Alright, that is some awesome stuff. And that's how you make Hunter's Goulash. I'm going to chow down on this. And yes, I ate everything in that pan in one sitting without getting sick. And that's the thing about Hunter's Goulash. Sometimes it's really good, but other times it's an absolute disaster. Not always advised for picky eaters. But thank you so much for sitting through all that and letting me share this with you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.